I used to never cook for myself. I don't cook for my kids. I cook for events. I cook for strangers. But cook for myself? No. And as picky as I am, peculiar. As peculiar as I am about my food, I'm so surprised that it took me this long to prioritize making food for myself. So today I'm gonna make some roasted potatoes in that oven at 450 for 25 minutes. I've been doing 30 lately. I've liked them a little crispy. And some pancakes. Simple, easy, delicious, affordable, and vegan. Just like how I like my recipes. Let me put that timer on. I'm working with a recipe that I haven't used before. But I have been making a lot of vegan muffins. And they make this vegan buttermilk by putting vinegar inside of their nut milk. So that's what I'm gonna do for these. That's not what the recipe calls for, but that's what I'm doing. Let me one cup. I'm using almond milk today. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Medicine go down. That'll work. I, don't, I always put in extra. You don't taste it either. This is gonna bubble up. It usually takes about 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna sit in there as long as I can have it in there. I'm about to put a lot more stuff in here that this recipe doesn't call for. I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon because I put cinnamon in everything for good luck and prosperity. Yes. And it's delicious, like. Come on now. I'm also not gonna use sugar. I've started using maple syrup lately. My son put me onto it. I like it for baking. I don't like sugar. When we eat sugar, it prevents our body from absorbing nutrients from food. Didn't know that. Sugar is the devil. Here come the demons. Wow. What you making? Pancakes. Salt is so important. Salt is so important when you are baking, especially with stuff with flour, because flour is so bland. Half a teaspoon of salt. This is something I'm not gonna eyeball. But I'm also not gonna put my salt in first. What am I doing? I'm tripping. This is what happens when you're not prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm done with my salt, so I can put that over. I'm done with this. Still need to use that. So how much? We need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Let's see if I can remember to use my sifter. I always grab my sifter. But I don't remember to use her. I'm a shave sister. Call her my sister. I'll take it off the wall but forget to use my sister. She's a big girl. But I got muscles. I can lift her. I'm not the end. I'm the beginner. Okay. This is one. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm gonna make up for what I just tried. He says, I says mom. All right, now I gotta do my baking powder one whole tablespoon. Usually I grab all my stuff and have it lined up, but I just push myself into doing this because if I didn't force it, it wasn't gonna happen like that, like I said. Usually don't cook for myself. The tired working mom. You know the trope. Okay, so we are one and a half cups of flour one tablespoon of baking powder, my half a teaspoon of salt. Did I put, no, I didn't put the salt in there. Ooh, see, see? Half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do less. I, I, when it comes to salt and sugar with these baking recipes, I've been doing less sugar and less salt than what the recipes call for because they always tell you to use way too much sugar. I made some muffins the other day and it said to use one cup of sugar. I used half a cup of sugar and it tasted exactly the same because I made them twice. I like to do a recipe. When I find something that I like, I will make a recipe 10, 15 times until I get it right. Like, I've been working on my uh, macaroni and cheese recipe for almost two years. Like, I just keep making it and making it and trying different things and taking out stuff. Like, just challenging myself to work with less and less. When I first started making vegan mac and cheese, I would buy the shredded cheese and I would buy vegan butter. 
you know, the vegan shredded cheese and the vegan butter. And I, it makes it so much easier and tastier. So when I took that away and started only using nutritional yeast and nut milk and dry mustard to replicate the cheese flavor and texture, it became much more challenging. And I think it's fun that way. You can play around with different types of flour and all types of stuff. So we've got our flour, our baking powder, and our salt. Ooh, sugar, but I'm not using sugar. I'm using maple syrup. Got my milk over here. So I need an additional half a cup of water and oil. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil just because I'm trying to be different. My son got me into grapeseed oil. Two tablespoons. I'm gonna stick that in my buttermilk. And you know what? I do end up having to wait 20 minutes anyway because I need my cast iron skillet and my cast iron skillet currently has my potatoes in it. So I am gonna end up having to let this sit, which is fine. Because now I'll actually get the buttermilk effect, which I think makes it, I don't know. I don't know what it does, but apparently it just makes your baking stuff better. I don't know why. I'm gonna make a hot chocolate and we'll wait 20 minutes. Mm, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like home or something. <laughs> I don't know. I was just looking at a meat grinder. We can make our own hot dogs. So I, can you make them out of vegetables? I'd like that. Make them. That would be so delicious. I don't know if you could do that with a meat grinder. Well, some type of grinder for. I guess you would put it in what, like a blender? I guess. I don't know. Uh, I realized the other day with that I had nuts. like some nice blenders too, so I might start doing stuff with a blender. Like, I'm gonna start because I have a lot of egg whites after I make certain recipes, and I'm just not interested in making meringue and stuff like that so i might just put them in my smoothie i want to get the I'm guy tur whites. um turn up vegan his cookbooks and he makes these like crumbles so that we can like out of walnuts and mushrooms and then puts it in some type of pulser and you can use that to make like fake ground beef i know what you're talking about and I can make so many more can recipes because Roger said he's tired of eating the same stuff over and over again. Yeah, I'm tired of the beans. They're not. They want beans every single day. I like the red sauce and the spaghetti. Though. That's my favorite thing. Damn, come make. on. You got to stop. What the? Sorry. That's my favorite thing that you make is the red sauce and the spaghetti. Yeah, but, you know, you can't have too much red sauce because you don't want to start getting heartburn and shit. You already have issues with the heartburn and the acid reflux and stuff like that, which, by the way, you need to go pick up your mats. Well, besides that, we can start getting protein. It's done. So now I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to use this pan after I wipe it out to make my pancakes. Yummy. My buttermilk is done. So I still need to add my maple syrup. And I want to add some wheat germ. Yeah. I like to make nutritious food. If it's not nutritious, what's the point? I'm actually going to put more in there. I'm putting like a half a cup in there. Okay. Let's see. This recipe calls for two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I'm going to use maple syrup instead. Two tablespoons. I'm just going to eyeball it. One, two. Better milk. How is bubbling? So I'm doing wet to dry and you don't want to over mix because it'll mess up the texture. Let me read these directions. Heat in a large griddle over a pan over medium high heat. That's what I always get wrong. I think I have my temperature up too high when I make my pancakes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Did you make a pancake from the potatoes? Yes, ma'am. You, you make a lot. Let me see how many this makes. It made three servings. I don't know what they consider a serving though. Is that one? They can't be three pancakes. I would think that's six, right? Isn't a serving a set of pancakes? I can make, make six regular sized pancakes out of this mix. No. You don't think I can make six no. pancakes out of this? I know you can't. That's a challenge. That It's not like a challenge to me. No, I'm going to add some more milk. No, I'm going to add some more milk and I bet you I'll make six pancakes out of this. No, don't do that. Do you, why are you asking? You must want some. Mm. Just giving you need some more no. milk anyway. But can you I put some potatoes? Oh, see, look. It's only two potatoes. What you mean it's only two potatoes? That's two potatoes. Can you believe it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Does it look like a lot? I put other stuff in there. I put celery and onions in there. 
Did I put other stuff in there? That should yeah. be it. All right, that's it. I don't want to overmix it. I literally just said that. Mmm. You want to make my pancakes? No, I don't, no. I don't make myself pancakes. What you can do is come in here and make your own pancakes. Yes, because I made the mix. And I got to, I, and I had to wash oh, the pan. You hurt my stomach with all that agave or whatever that that's is. That's not agave. That's maple syrup, and there's no sugar in this mix. It's only that. So you just tasted it like it was all that good. Like it was sugar in there. I had put some of that. Oh, I put more. You got a big old bite. You eating that like it's not going to eat. It's just a batter. <laughs> All right. So you know how to put this in. All right, let me go clean out this pan. So I got my hot chocolate coffee going on. My potatoes are done. And this is my pancake mix. They swear that that cat is starving. My son really thinks that I starved that cat because now she wants to eat 24 hours a day since I increased her food since it was winter time because apparently to stay warm, cats burn more energy and eat more food in winter time when it's cold. Okay, fine. But girl, winter time is over. I'm sorry. It's spring where I'm at. I don't care. Like, So let me get my little scooper. This is the measuring cup that came with my bread machine that I don't have anymore because it broke. And I returned it. So my temperature's on medium high that's what it said right grease the pan medium high all right so to cook them one five minutes this has never been my thing this has always been fire's thing me and pancakes just don't get along for some reason but i'm glad that you could this time she's tripping if she thinks that you can't get six pancakes out of this like girl because there go the first three right there i could have measured that out a little better but that's what we had we don't have all this batter left all right i need even more oil next time let me give these a couple more minutes why is it yellow are pancakes supposed to be yellow maybe i'm not sure I'm gonna try to surpass this. These are gonna be good, but they're gonna be filling. At least the batter's good. Next time, I'm definitely gonna use more spray. I was under the illusion that if you use a cast iron skillet, it just naturally wouldn't stick. I did I did spray oil on it though, I did. I feel like I just need to leave them alone. It's that one to two minutes. Next time I'm gonna use more spray. I'm gonna spray my avocado oil on top because I don't use butter. So this is in lieu of butter. I just realized that that recipe called for half a cup of water and I forgot to put it in there. I'll do better next time. I think what saved me is that I added that extra milk, but I still need to pay more attention. It's hard for me to pay attention when I'm talking to the kids. I feel like I would have done better had they not been in here, but I'm not gonna blame them. It's my fault. I'm gonna clean up the pan fire. I promise you, I'm eating all of this. I'm gonna eat it right now. Mm, 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 mm. Let me wipe this out for her. Huh? These little crispies. These little crispies are so good. Mm. I can make a sherry out of that. Mmm. Tiny bit of agave. And that's it.